This looks really good. Here is the brand new Volkswagen Arteon. This is the replacer of the Volkswagen CC. It is also available with the R-Line Sport package. It is a very stylish and good looking practical car. There is a 2 liter TSI 280 horsepower petrol engine available. There are also diesel engines available, the 2 liter TDI with 150 horsepower and the 2 liter TDI with 240 horsepower. The Arteon is also available with the dynamic chassis control system with comfort, normal and sport mode. The packages that are available are the Elegance, Elegance Business and the Business R-Line. This car produces 150 horsepower. It's a front wheel drive car and it produces 340 newton meters of torque. 0 to 62 in 9.1 seconds. The top speed is 220 km per hour. The engine is a 2 liter 4 cylinder inline diesel engine TDI. It has a 7 speed automatic transmission, transmission DSG dual clutch. At the front you can see the beautiful dynamic looks of this Arteon. The headlights of the Arteon use the GPS data to direct their beams around corners. You have the data on running lights, a brand new design. At the front looks amazing. It has parking sensors, it has the headlight washers, you have the 18 inch rims looks beautiful this car it has the elegance logo at the side you can also buy it with the r-line sport package and blind spot assist this one has the panoramic sunroof you can tilt it or slide it backwards it has the tinted rear windows it has beautiful led lights at the back the arteon logo is in the middle looks stunning in my eyes the rear tail lights have a beautiful design looks very very good it has the active turn signals. With the R-Line Sport package you get real exhausts. It has the rear view camera, it can automatically park itself. It comes standard with 18 inch tires, 245, 45, 18. It has ventilated brake discs. The car weighs 1543 kilograms. The trunk space is 563 liters. One of the features is the emergency assist 2.0, a system which makes full use of the Arteon suit of assist to take brief control of the car in an emergency. If the car senses that the driver has not used the wheel or pedals for a certain period of time, the system will first deploy countermeasures such as warning signals and lights plus physical autonomous brake jolt signals. If these measures aren't enough, the emergency stop system steps in, the hazard lights automatically switch on and by using the lane keeping assist in tandem with the steering controls of from the parking assist feature, the Arteon will begin to move across into the near side lane. Side assist uses ultrasound sensors to detect traffic around the vehicle while the adaptive cruise control regulates the brake and the throttle. Touchscreen navigation system, active info display, flat bottom steering wheel. The space in the back is huge and 1 meter and 83. This is plenty. This is a lot. You have the armrest with cup holders. This is a leather armrest. What I like, it has also the ambient lighting. Plenty of headspace. Frameless doors. It's basically the Audi A7. But cheaper. And uh, better looking. This is the passenger view of the new Arteon beautiful looking active info display we will look at the driver's seat in a few moments 
This Arteum will also be available with a 1.5 liter TSA petrol engine with 150 horsepower. The most powerful engines will be available with the 4 motion system. And this is the driver's seat of the brand new Arteon. Good looking coupe, 4 door coupe. It's a 5 seater, it re replaces the Volkswagen CC. Perfect design. You have the adjustable armrest, you can slide it and you can also adjust it in height like that USB input, AUX input and a storage area down here here you have the cup holders the electronic handbrake and the auto volt power outlet up here you have the start stop you can turn it off you have the heated steering wheel button the parking sensor and the self parking buttons are located on top you have the push button ignition down here. Here you have a power outlet, climate control, 16 up to 29. You have also the heated seats, three settings also for the passenger the parking sensors and the rear view camera pops out of the Volkswagen emblem self parking system you can choose different views to park it like that The climate control has its own menu, you can control everything with these uh, buttons if you want, it's a touch screen, automatic mode, car settings, three zone climate control as you can see, adjustable, the intensity, these are the languages available. This is the main menu of the car, two pages, radio settings, media, aux connectivity, USB connectivity, it supports CarPlay and Android Auto, media controller, navigation, traffic information, mirror link sound adjustments car settings here you have the active info display it has also the adaptive cruise control the radar is located in the Volkswagen emblem Digital speedometer, safety systems, front assist, lane assist, adaptive cruise control, navigation. You can adjust the ins you can adjust the middle part of the active info display with these settings like that consumption, range, gear and speed, driver assistance, like that. Audio, phone, vehicle status. Automatic uh, rain 
automatic wipers it has a rain sensor light sensor voice activation adaptive cruise control automatic lights of course it has the ambient lighting here you have the dimming rear view mirror it has LED lights in the interior it has the panoramic sunroof it has the SOS button pre-crash uses data from the traction control system to detect potential crashes related to driving dynamics data from the front assist system to warn and overt potential head-on collisions and now it can use data from the side assist function to, sen to sense danger from behind side assist uses a blind spot detection system most of the time but its sensors can also sweep the road behind